everybody and welcome back to this week's Stoke. It is official winter is coming and that means that it is almost race season and I'm so excited to kick off our winter season of this week's Stoke with one of our freshest faces to the World Cup. So today we have Solden up and coming in just a couple of weeks and so what better way to talk about that race than bringing on Ava Jemison who's here to really go through how her season went last year and what she's planning for the upcoming season. And so for those of you that don't know her, Ava Jemison is 20 years old and won the NORAM overall title last season. And for people who don't understand what that means, the NORAM overall title means that she was the best in all four events last season in the NORAM circuit. And if you win a NORAM title, you get a World Cup spot. So lucky for Ava, she gets them in all four. So <laughs> Ava's the perfect person to be able to talk to today as we kind of go through how last season went and how amazing it was for her, but also how she's looking forward to the future. So Ava, thank you so much for coming on the show today. I'm so excited to talk with you, especially because you're a friend of mine that we used to race together. And so those are always my favorite episodes. So thanks for taking the time. Uh, thank you so much for having me, Parker. Yeah, it's so good to talk to a former friend and racer. So, <laughs> so That's to exciting. kick it off, I think first we need to just say like, congratulations. Winning the Norm overall thank title you. is such a huge feat. And I think too, what's really cool about it is what are you feeling now? What is going through kind of your mind as you've had this success? And now you're kind of jumpstarting into a new chapter and a new path. So what are you kind of thinking as you're digesting that and moving into this next stage of World Cup? Yeah, um, I mean, it's definitely very exciting above all anything. Like, you know, it's finally like cool to finally compete on the, the biggest stage almost. And so um, basically it's just like kind of being grateful for everything that's kind of happened. But I think um, it was really good to have all summer off because that's kind of like when I could um, process everything. And it was like, it was moving so fast all season long, you know, it was like, you never really got a second to slow down and like, kind of think about what was happening. Cause it was like, you always, I was always having, having to stay focused. I felt like, so, um, yeah, very, very, it's nice. like, go, go, go. All right. The time. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah. And so with that, right, like you finally get a chance to digest this and process. And so I'm guessing you're pretty excited, right? Like overall feelings must be pretty good. Does it make you nervous at all? Is that something that you have to kind of adjust to, or do you just kind of take that confidence and roll into the next stage? Um, yeah. So I'm not going to lie. I was like, as soon as I got the Norm title and even kind of yeah, like pretty, as soon as it happened, I was very, very nervous, like thinking about Sylvan. I just remember like, gosh, I, I like couldn't even think about it because it would like make my heart beat. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. Um, but having like all this time once again, and then being able to actually like ski with the group that, you know, I'm trained, that's racing and all that um, has really helped kind of calm it down and feel like, okay, like we're, I'm like, it, it was more of a, build up of an adjustment versus like it's so it was so sudden to think about when it first happened so totally it's nice that you get that time to process and I don't know if anybody knows about you but you're also love other sports too and a kick-ass surfer and I know you do some skateboarding too and so I guess that summertime is probably nice to be able to switch it up a bit and then come right back into skiing uh thank you yeah it, it totally was super nice um yeah also just spending it with friends and just you know, having a lot of fun. So that was good. <laughs> so I think now that we've talked a little bit about last season and that Norm title, I think we need to jump back a little bit for people who don't know you, because like I said, you're the fresh face. Everybody's kind of excited about you. And I know I am to see how this season goes, but how did you get into ski racing and how do you really progress at this rate that you're going to be racing world cup at only 20 years old? Yeah. Um, so I uh, grew up in Vail, as you know, and, um, Basically, you know, it's just, it was like my parents put me in ski club with the, I don't know, like the free ski program. And then my closest friend wanted to join racing. So I just kind of went with that. And it's, I would say racing is like, either you kind of figure out if you like it or you don't. So I just really liked it immediately. And that's how, um, that's how it started. <laughs> No, that's awesome. And then you did a little time at Burke Mountain Academy as well, which is funny. We have that in common. And then all of a sudden, boom, to the team and you've been on the team. And then, of course, here we are now. So definitely cool to see how you've progressed through that pipeline and how it's been able to jumpstart you at such a young age. Yeah, thank you. It, um, it was definitely pretty. 
yeah, pretty cool pipeline to go down. Uh, it was so helpful going out there and just, you know, um, there was a lot of like, I had a lot of personal distractions going on in my life at Vail. So it was nice going to Burke and just really just focusing on skiing, honestly. I think that was like so helpful. Um, and they're pretty serious there too, as you know. So that was nice. <laughs> no, that's great. So now let's talk about this season, right? So you get these World Cup starts. How do you go about planning your season to be able to race either all of them? Do you race some of them? Do you create kind of a mental plan that's adjustable? What is really how you go about planning your season as you kind of move into this World Cup start? Yeah, uh, the plan right now is is almost like, I just really take it one step at a time. Like I know I'm doing Solden and I know I'll do Levy after. And like, um, but those are pretty much the only two, like everything's up in the air. And so it's really nice, I think, to not think too far ahead for me um, because it's just everything's so subject to change anyway. So, you know, just trying to like ski well and live in the moment, honestly. <laughs> well, it's the perfect transition and kind of thought process about your mental state. So ski racing is normally a pretty hard sport to be consistent in. And I think too, as you get to races and stuff, you're always going all out. And so for you, what do you think your key mental state is to get into the zone, to not get caught up in results and be able to ski your fastest and your best when it matters? Ah, uh, I would say I ski my best when I'm pretty like at ease and um, just like in, in life, you know, when you don't have so much going on and you can just kind of like feel less anxious that way I think that's the best way for me um things just kind of come naturally when that happens and even if you know you have a really bad race or even last year you know um I had like a, a really tough Europa Cup and then had to go right to the Norams and, and this was like Georgian Peaks and Collingwood that historically I, I had like a very horrible race races there when I was first second year fist like I didn't even make top 60 second run so um kind of after after that like I, I remember I, I talked to my mom and she was like you just gotta like let the past go and like realize you're a completely different person so I think it's just kind of like letting go of um you know, your recent, your recent bad result or whatever you might have going on, you have to realize like you can choose to perform um, and it takes courage to step it up and not fall into the rabbit hole almost. Totally. I think key pieces there, the courage, letting it go, like being calm and taking a deep breath and feeling confident in your ability and your preparation. I think that's an awesome piece um, that you can kind of share about your getting in the zone and what you can bring to the table. I think that's sweet. So I've mentioned a couple of times that you're the young gun, right? Like you're only 20, you're going to World Cup, you've moved up to the B team really quickly, which is super exciting. How does that transition with the team? Do you feel like you're constantly looking up to people? Do you feel like you fit right in? Do you feel like there's somebody that's kind of guiding you as you're kind of embarking on this journey? I think that that's a super interesting part. Yeah, um, that's a really good question. At first, it was definitely like, whoa, everyone here is so much older and very experienced but um honestly just integrating with the team everyone's been so friendly for the most part and like so opening and that has made it really helpful like you know everyone kind of looks at each other's equals despite if you've maybe like gotten world cup top fives and all these other results um so that's been really nice like AJ is very hilarious and so like it's just nice to have a good time with people and you okay. feel like you can come and ask them for any advice or suggestions suggestions yeah and that's super cool right having a community that you can lean on as you're kind of taking this jump this leap and knowing that your teammates have your back I think that that's a really nice piece to have especially as you're figuring this all out for the first time and so that being said right like what has been the most exciting part of kind of rolling into this first World Cup in a couple of weeks. Do you think that it's going to be getting back in the start gate? Do you think it's going to be just being in the World Cup stage? Like, what are you most excited about for this season? Oh, uh, I'm just most excited to like really go head to head with like some of the best. And, um, you know, I was the one of the best pieces of advice I got was like um, from one of the texts he said, like a World Cup is really just another race that's more crowded, like more busy with people to help you do better. And it's like, 
it's kind of true to you know an extent it really is just another race so I think it's just cool it'll just be cool to jump in with everyone <laughs> no that's awesome and we're super excited to watch you and cheer you on as you embark on this journey and I'm hoping too that this is a cool opportunity for our community to see that you're going to be a face to watch somebody to cheer for a new person that's going to shake up the system and I'm super excited for that so I can't thank you enough for taking the time to come on and chat with me today um, we're really looking forward to this season and watching you crush <laughs> it's going to be sweet um, so thanks again Ava Oh, thank you so much, Parker. Um, yeah, so nice talking to you. And best of luck in coaching. I, you know, what? Listen to this podcast. <laughs> thank you. And to the community, I hope you guys gained a little bit from Ava, the importance of letting things go and having a fresh start as you're in the starting gate, knowing that a race is just any other race too, that you are confident and prepared and can do your best. And I think that those are keys as we got it into the season. And whether or not you're racing a World Cup or you're just racing your any high school race or USSA or FIS, know that you can be confident and show up and do your best every time. So thanks, everybody, and catch you all next time.